What's up, YouTube? I'm Z, and this channel shows you the world through my lens. Uh, so, it seems to be a trickle-down effect. I talk about this all the time. Maybe not on the channel, but, you know, with my friends. Uh, most things in life are trickle-down. Whatever is happening at the top is going to set the tone for everything underneath. And for us, in the music stuff, the top is obviously the big guys, right? Like, we're, we're seeing what's happening right now with Kendrick, uh, Drake... Rick Ross is in it, half the industry's in it, J. Cole has decided to step out of it, whatever, all that's going on. But trickle down, it's causing stuff to happen everywhere. I mean, there's a Chris Brown and Quavo beef going on. There's Simba who took shots at J. Cole. Cause replied, Simba replied back to, to Cause. There might be even more beefs going on, but those are the ones that I know of, okay? And now it's trickled down to our level, the YouTube level. Now, there's always been on and off uh, beefs that have happened, okay? Now, I don't know if this is a beef or just like a friendly competition thing, uh, but Screwface Gene is uh, a reactor that obviously I look up to. Uh, one of the big ones. He's got like a million subscribers. Big, big channel. Um, he posted or he mentioned this in, his, in one of his reactions I was watching recently. And he said that this guy, Saman Savage, who I've never actually heard of before, um, seems like a fairly you know smaller size channel, 46K subscribers. This might just be his music channel. I don't know if he does something else on YouTube, but uh, looks like he's done a song that he's calling Big Three. Um, and I believe that this is on the Like That beat, if I'm not mistaken. So what we're going to do is we're going to check this out. Uh, apparently, Samad Savage tweeted that he thinks his, is it called tweet still? Posted? I don't know. Uh, that his like that verse is the best one and no one's going to touch it. And apparently, that's what inspired Screwface Gene to do his version of like that. So, I haven't heard either, either of these. We're going to do them both in the same video and we're going to check that out right now. Here we go. Funeral to the bullshit. Yo, we not doing this in the 2020s. Y'all been bickering back and forth for the past 12 years. Not saying names, just chasing fame. Sneak dissing with major claims. Now sit y'all top five asses down before I make change. Okay, seem like y'all all taking shots, but everybody swerving miss. This for all the dogs and Michael Vick looking for Cerberus. Speaking of falling off, you ran the top. Um, how do we feel about Mike Vick bars at this point? Are we like... It's been done a lot. Swerve and miss. This for all the dogs and Michael Vick looking for Cerberus. Speaking of falling off, you ran the top. Now you deserve the cliff. Said you love when they count you out. Nigga, you gonna love this shit. No, this nigga not talking to me. Holy shit, I think he is. Switch your voice to be a couple of bars to hide the fact you ain't say shit. Damn, he's, he's, so that's at Kendrick. The moment he did the voice change, we know he's talking about Kendrick. Uh, he said something about, you know, running at the top, go off the cliff. Not talking like to me. Holy shit, I think he is. Switch your voice to be a couple of bars to hide the fact you ain't say shit. How you gonna take a hiatus to come back like you still greatest? Only seen with baby came so you keep up with the latest trends. Fake deep, fake woke you. Damn. He said you only change your voice every couple bars to try and distract us from the fact that you ain't saying shit. How are you gonna go on a hiatus and come back and act like you still the greatest? Yo, he's going in on Kendrick. Is switch your voice to be a couple of bars to hide the fact you ain't say shit. How you gonna take a hiatus to come back like you still greatest? Only seen with baby came so you keep up with the latest trends. Fake deep, fake woke, you and J. Cole the same boat. Everything black, revolutionary. Then when the riots happen, y'all choke. They like, who the hell? Yo, he's calling them out on their like black activism stuff. That's kind of those shots are interesting. I mean, I, I will say, I don't know enough. Uh, I'm not up to date enough about what they're all into and I will also say that celebrities don't always publicize everything that they do um, So I can't personally speak on that, but uh, I guess in his opinion, he's feeling like they're they're you know Fake woke. They're not really about it about the culture and about you know leveling up their people You and J. Cole the same boat everything black revolutionary then when the riots happen y'all choke They like who the hell's my savage? Why think he can speak on those folk? Wouldn't be the first time a no-name aimed and banged and came at y'all throats Everybody looked like the menu was nothing to end you. How you let alone? That was a good way for him to get ahead of the like because everybody would say Yo, who the hell is this guy to say anything about them? He's small time, whatever 
So that was a good way for him to get ahead of that. It's time a no-name aimed and banged and came at y'all throats. Everybody looked like the menu was nothing to end you. How you let low old Jermaine come defend you when Diddy was vengeful? Wait, why the fuck y'all had a Diddy party anyway? Speaking of him, some of y'all bar shot, but let Sean take the blame. Killing big every day. But if Drake dropped Detroit too, oh, it's a classic with accolades. Favoritism for the light-skinned niggas. Colorism at the top of his game. Some of y'all thinking I'm digging my grave. Damn. Okay, so first of all, he's saying why y'all at the Diddy party anyways when he's addressing the Diddy situation, J. Cole... Kendrick, um, yeah, I mean, I think anybody who was at a Diddy party is going to have some questions coming their way. It, it, it's just par for the course of what's just happened, right? Uh, then he's addressing the Drake situation, saying that whatever Drake drops, no matter if it's good or bad, he's going to do the numbers, uh, and he's saying that that's light skin privilege. Uh, okay, look, I know there's people that are going to believe in that and, and buy into that, Um I just, I'm not gonna say anything. Please. Y'all bar shot, but let Sean take the blame. Kill him big every day. But if Drake dropped Detroit too, oh, it's a classic with accolades. Favoritism for the light skinned niggas. Colorism at the top of his game. Some of y'all thinking I'm digging my grave. Bet these niggas won't enter my cage. Side profile, you get my fade. Bro, and inspired to missing his shots. I guess that's why he gave Tori the praise. Look at Megan getting glory today. Still ain't giving no. Praising the shots. That's why he gave Tori. It's Tori Lane's Megan the Stallion. So he's. He's talking about some of that stuff, and then, yeah. I'm at the top of his game. Some of y'all thinking I'm digging my grave. Bet these niggas won't enter my cage. Side profile, you get my fade. Bro, and inspired to missing the shots. I guess. Yeah, I mean, getting the fade, side profile, enter my cage. Like, really nice rhyme schemes through here. Uh, and then going into going from that into the Tory Lanez reference with the shots line. That's why he gave Tory the praise. Look at Megan getting glory today. Still ain't giving no response. You'd rather diss a bunch of women, push a T and yeah, and you still getting some by J. Whether it's Z or Cole, all them hits and you still ain't got. Con Did he? Was that aimed at uh, Drake? I had him missing the shots. I guess that's why he gave Tory the praise. Look at Megan getting glory today. Still ain't giving no response. You'd rather diss a bunch of women, push a T and yeah, and you still getting some by J. Whether it's Z or Cole, all them hits and you still ain't got control. But I got big. I'm the villain of your dreams, yo. BBL, bro. Damn. Yo, I, I, I addressed that on the on the Rick Ross thing. I do feel like if someone's, you know, going to bring stuff like that, it's got to be real. So until it's, like, verified, I feel like those bars might be a little bit of a miss for me. Got control, but I got bigger bones to pick than Lil' Kendrick or BBL, bro. I'm the villain of your dreams. Your whole team get Kimbo. How you leave rap and come back? Either way, you can't go pro. Jermaine, you let us rap shit or not? If you ain't shit, nigga, get off the pot. Penthouse with a laid electric bill. I'm here to off your top. Sick nigga, and I came with coffins. Yeah, I'm here to take my shot. Fat nigga on a spirit airline. Yeah, I'm taking all three spots. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. <laughs> Yeah, right. I'm here to take my shot. Fat nigga on a spirit airline. Yeah, I'm taking all three spots. <laughs> Y'all niggas don't rap like this. Like an unborn poet, I might snap in this bitch. Okay, 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 okay. Keep on flowing, but I'm like, wait, no way. Wait. Like an unborn poet, I might snap in this. Like inside her, snap, poet. Yo, okay. That, like, it's very random because it's like, you know, it was just like, but that was nice. Born pull with, I might snap in this bitch. Okay, 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 okay. Keep on flowing. I'm like, wait, no way. Way too cold, and I got no class, but I might be saved in her phone. That's still there ain't no way. You thinking you could be competition? I predicted you won't have a pot to piss in that position. Never close to my position. Stop your mission. You must have a cock addiction. Stop and rest. Stop your top on the thumb and dick. It's mine. You're licking. Holly fitting. Gobble it. Your body switching. I just did this to say fuck you till you die. Now I'm kidding, but yeah. That was nasty. Okay. Um. The, the flow he went into the the rhyme schemes but then the everything he did which was about the sexual stuff and like it getting a little bit too aggressive all of that to build up to say f you till you die like literally because he just said the sexual stuff as it gets more aggressive so like f you till you die like literal but then the the figurative like f you till you die Yo, that was nice. On your licking, highly fit and gobble it, your body switching. I just did this to say, fuck you till you die. Now I'm kidding, but yeah. Y'all's my heroes. Y'all doing lame shit. Y'all became weirdos. Yeah, y'all got talent. But you don't talk about shit. Y'all let y'all arrogance lead you. I ain't with that proud shit. Y'all ego tripping could be spitting about the Congo, Sudan, or Palestine. But y'all rather distract folk. Fuck, we talking about diss tracks, folk. I only. That was hard. I I'll agree with that. That was hard. Um, and I see the angle he's coming from. I mean, look, Drake has never really claimed to be like woke 
Uh, so I don't really think that that applies to Drake. Like Drake's kind of always just stayed separate from like causes and what's going on. That's a different discussion. I mean, I think part of me would love to have him like speak on that stuff because of how big he is. But also if somebody said like feels that that's not their lane, like activism and stuff is not their lane, then it's not their lane. Uh, Kendrick and Cole, on the other hand, do kind of, you know, go on the activism route with their music sometimes. So I think that's a valid criticism there. Let y'all arrogance lead you. I ain't with that proud shit. Y'all ego tripping could be spitting about the Congo, Sudan, or Palestine, but y'all rather distract folk. Fuck, we talking about diss tracks, folk. I only did this to bring some attention to causes that y'all never rap for. I'm gonna get where y'all at one day, but I'm gonna zig where y'all zag, though. <laughs> I'm a zig where y'all zag though. He's like, I'm gonna do it different though. I'm a rap though. Nice. I'm gonna get where y'all at one day, but I'm gonna zig where y'all zag though. That was nice. <laughs> Forget deleting this later. Delete y'all shit now. <laughs> Yo, Cole, Cole gonna be catching strays all year. I'm just kidding, Big Three. Y'all know I love you. But nah, seriously, speak about some more important shit, bro. I know y'all got it in you. I'm saying this is like somebody who watch y'all fight for what y'all believe in to get where y'all at. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't even care. Respect. Keep that right there in the front. Respect, bro. Care who really like rap the best anymore. Like that shit is so played out. There's so much more realer shit going on in the world. Um, just make music with a message. Speaking of music with a message, EP dropping soon. Oh, one last thing. The internet is a terrible place. That's a good name for uh for uh, an EP. The things that you lied about, you don't want them out. No, nah, no, nah, fucking with y'all. Peace. <laughs> That's funny. Um. Hey, man, he did his thing. He did his thing. We're going to check out Screwface here. Now, one thing I got to point out, there's the tweet, I guess, the, yeah, nobody uh, did better than me on that, like that instrumental, plain and simple. Um, you know, on one hand, at the end of his track, he was basically saying, you know, nobody cares about who raps better, like that's played out. But then obviously making this claim, you know, you could see this as like a promotional move, like, you know, grabbing attention because it's going to grab attention of someone like Screwface. Um, I don't know if I should say Screwface or Gene or Screwface Gene, like, I don't know, SFJ, who knows. Uh, but, you know, obviously this goes a little bit against the narrative of what that line was at the end. Um, and it's going to get, it's going to get people's attention, right? So we're going to check this out, um, and see what Screwface did. Here we go. It, it became personal with me. If I say it, I mean it. If you say you're the greatest, prepare to be playing some defense. Faces the meanest. Got you rapping in front of a church because you're facing a demon. Take them to clean. Okay, so he's already coming in on the aggressive note. You can hear in his voice, he's bringing a little bit of that that growl and rasp in there. Um, and he's saying, if you are if you say you're the greatest, get ready to play some defense. He's like, when you, when you claim you're the greatest, people are going to come for you. I'm coming for you. Get ready to play some defense. But that's a dope line too because I think like in order to be counted as the greatest, if we're talking sports wise, you know, I say I always relate back to basketball. But in basketball, in my opinion, if you're considered the greatest, you got to be able to play both ends. Uh, get ready to play some defense. So that might be a bit of a stretch, but I take it that way because basketball is my sport. Greatest, prepare to be playing some defense. Faces the meanest. Got you rapping in front of a church because you facing a demon. demon. Take them that's the cleanest. Because I'm watching these niggas. That's how I be staying the cleanest. Baby, I'm beasting. I be serving these jerks like Jamaicans. Don't hate that I'm eating them. I be serving these jerks like Jamaicans. <laughs> Jerk chicken. Uh, that was nice. Watching these niggas. The washing line, staying the cleanest. Like these are lines that we've heard. Uh, so I, I'm going to try not to react to stuff that's like a more common line. Where's the choir? I'm about to sin. That was hard. And that's nice because he, he was doing the church thing, like talking about where he was rapping. Demon, I'm about to sin. Uh, guitar of Jimi Hendrix is on fire. There's all like, you know, Themes that could work together. That was nice. Hendrix, that means they on fire. Where's the choir? I'm about to sing, bitch. My pen hits the pad, and that shit is law, no amendments. I'll send text and make sure your next step is a send text. Kaboom, bitch. Damn, that was hard. That was hard. Uh, when my pen hits the pad, it's law, no amendments. That was hard. 
but then your next step is a semtex. <laughs> no amendments, I'll send text and make sure your next step is a semtex. Kaboom, bitch. Moral of the story is don't send threats. Can see an epineme for an SMS full of dangers. Let's get it, bro. I'm good in this. Don't send threats. Can see an epineme for an SMS full of dangers. Let's get it, bro. I'm good in this mad city like Kendrick. So do not be a hero unless you know the Avengers. I'll break. <sighs> that was hard. The good. Uh, you know, good, good kid, Mad City, good Mad City. That was nice reference for Kendrick. Uh, but the City hero, like Kendrick, so do not be a hero unless you know the Avengers. I'll break nose like Weezy, you just pop up with your face roll the gats out. These niggas finna back out like Jada. Fuck it though. That's yeah, that's uh, like I said, Cole is gonna catch strays all year. All year. Yeah. Uh, referencing, I think we all were questioning like what happened with, with Wayne. Like he, you know, for a bit had like that really swollen face. And then um, I was very curious about what happened. But yeah, that was a nice reference. These niggas finna back out like Jada. Fuck it though. That's just a couple way they say they up the pole. Bodhi Fold Bulldog don't get booked by the puppy nose. The fucking flow is way too fucking nasty. Call it fucking comes. My shit is jamming. Boy, this shit is slamming like Dusty Rhodes. I'll step on them. Any nigga that be my Slamming like Dusty Rhodes. Uh... Yeah, the the puffy combs. Yeah, that's an easy target all year too. Puffy combs, my shit is jamming. Boy, this shit is slamming like Dusty Rhodes. I'll step on them. Any nigga that be matching up the fence, any nigga I ain't better than I will get them. But they call me them just a you know, on the beat, half an Eminem. Ah. Hmm. Shit is jamming. Boy, this shit is slamming like Dusty Rhodes. I'll step on them. Any nigga that be matching up the fence, any nigga I ain't better than I will get them. But they call me them just a you know, on the beat, half an Eminem. Ah. They're cornier than dissing Benzino on behalf of Eminem. Um, yeah, I, I see where he's coming from that because I think there's always when when Eminem gets into beefs, there's always the stand disses. I've actually reacted to one. Um, I I don't know if I feel exactly the same way, but uh, I know I know Screwface Gene has a complicated relationship with Eminem. Like he respects his pen and you know praises him a lot, but he also is a little bit weird sometimes when it comes to him. Uh, but you know what? Like, we're all going to have different opinions when, when it comes to those things. Um, I do agree with him, though. He did say the other day, we got to keep the same energy, and I fully agree with that. The fact that Eminem randomly brings up Benzino again out of nowhere, Benzino replies to him, and then Eminem disappears. Bro, like, why'd you bring him up? I, I was very confused, even before Benzino replied. I was very confused why Eminem brought up Benzino again. Uh, it just felt like unnecessary. Uh, but if you did and the person comes back with smoke and then you're nowhere to be found, questions. I'm keeping that same energy. Kendrick, where you at? M, where you at? Pop another bottle if you like that, bro, bro. I'm just trying to tell you, you ain't like that, bro, bro. Break scraping, that means that I might crash, bro, bro. They gon' bury my mic whenever Christ that, bro, bro. Uh, chorus, I'm like, I'm like 50-50. I'm not sure I like that a whole bunch. Yeah, pop another bottle if you like that, bro, bro. I'm just trying to tell you, you ain't like that, bro, bro. It's drippy. Like, he's he's doing his thing. He's, he's, there's a lot of swag and a lot of attitude with it, but I'm not sure it's my cup of tea. Nah, break scraping. That means that I might crash, bro, bro. They gon' bury my mic with Jesus Christ there, bro, bro. Okay, stop, all. These niggas think they slapping, but they capping. Only passion is to see who raps the fastest shit. Is every view a fucking good view? I'm just asking. I ain't trying to go viral for niggas cracking on my rapper. Yeah, I'm so nice. <laughs> I'm just asking. I ain't trying to. Go every view is not a good view. I I, I can. Yeah. Go viral for niggas cracking on my rapper. Yeah, I'm so nice. But I ain't trying to be polite. I won't go like to these whole guys for show mice. You niggas twelve like four trikes. If we gon' fight, then it's four. Twelve like four trikes. That was nice. That was nice. Trikes have three wheels, four times three, twelve. Like, I won't go like to these whole guys for show sure mice. You <laughs> niggas twelve like four trikes. We for sure mice like rats, twelve. That was that was a nice sequence right there. And I like this um, you know, it's only like a two syllable, you know, rhyme pattern here, but it's nice. Go fight then it's full life. I remember when we had no life. We had to get our heat from the stove lights. I eat ramen for my whole life. You know hey. I'm I gotta say though, for nostalgic purposes, I still like ramen from some you know time to time. I mean, I can afford much more than ramen now, but back in the day when that's all I was eating, 
there's just moments where you still kind of like you just want to revisit that moment right I eat it for nostalgia. Like we had to get our heat from the stove lights. I eat ramen for my whole life. You know, right? I'm still dope as a coke. I ain't trying to be an actor because I'm trying to be some actor. I'm still dope like a coke heist. I steal like I'm stealing something dope like a coke heist. Yeah. My whole life, you know, right? I'm still dope as a coke heist. I ain't trying to be an actor because I'm trying to be some actor. And lean a nigga like some cold sprite. Cold I do want to say that. Um, bagging on like rapping fast as like a fad but then having moments like you had moment in your first verse and in this verse where you're rapping fast i i just find contradictions like that from him and his opinion sometimes like i i just feel like you got to try to be more consistent uh but he's rapping the hell out of this yo that whole sequence was fire pun intended he said fire like ozai that is a uh avatar reference i think he was from uh ozai is it prince ozai king ozai i don't know but it's one of the fire dudes uh, i think it's the bad guy i'm pretty sure but then he said dope like the ozarks and my whole wife if y'all haven't seen the show ozarks uh, you're not gonna get that bar, but that was nice. My shit is fire like Oza, but dope than the Ozars. But fuck that nigga's whole wife. That's my whole life. Man, you could survive my old lines. Probably would have died off a of shit I wrote in 09. Oh my, that's actual. There's some shit that's I had to do. I just passed it back to you, quarterback doing laterals. They snapped this. Oh, I just passed it back to you, quarterback doing laterals. That's a pass back. Oh my There's God. There's some shit I had to do. I just passed it back to you, quarterback doing laterals. They snapped. The screw, I gamble and scramble to never pass to you. Cause I know that you lack in the passion, it's in your attitude. But when I get this touchdown, nigga, show your gratitude, or we gon' have your bitch drop your longitude and latitude. Splatter you, game is full of. Gonna have your chick share your location to splat it. Yo, that's hard. Attitude, or we gon' have your bitch drop your longitude and latitude. Splatter you, game is full of racers. Tell them blow pipe. Suckers black as Uncle Ruckers. Deep as are they so white. Homie told me, don't you worry about them. They got no life. But I also think, look, again, I, I mean, I don't know if I'm allowed to speak on it or not. Uh, but, you know, I, I find sometimes I get a little uncomfortable with like, how much the black and white narrative happens. Um, I'm not saying that it's not true or not there, but I think sometimes it's like, it's it's treated almost like a boogeyman, like it, then it gets applied to everything. Um, and I think sometimes it's just like, skill is skill, bars are bars. And I, I don't know, a dope MC is a dope MC, no matter what they look like. So, and he's a dope MC. so white. Homie told me, don't you worry about him. They got no life, but on behalf of Black Dad, fuck you for your whole life. Four, five. Hold on. Hold on. I got way more, baby. Did you like that, little girl? Hold on. Hold on. Did you like that, little girl? I ain't the one, bruh. But you know, I love you. I do love when sometimes like he's doing a reaction and he'll just go into dancing. Uh, I, I enjoy that part of his reactions. Yo, I'm not even gonna lie. He slid on that for sure. Um, who did a better job rapping? They both did really well. I will say that maybe like Screwface Jeans was a little bit more polished, like the delivery was a little bit tighter in parts, especially when he tried to do some of the faster parts and stuff. They both had sections that sounded a little bit like not super neat, not super tight. Um, but you know, like at this level, that's expected. Um, I, I think that in that level, he probably outwrapped him a little bit. In terms of bars, I mean, it's hard to say because. The, you know, Samad was kind of talking about the big three. Screwface kind of went a different direction. So it, it's really hard to compare. 
Um, I will say that for me personally, I like conscious rap. So I'm more on the vibe of what Samad Savage was saying than just like some of the, you know, aggressive bars that came from, from Screwface Gene. So for me, it's split, man. Like I think skill wise, maybe Gene takes it. Um, I think just content wise for me and the type of music that I like, I, I'm leaning towards Samad. Uh, let me know what you guys think. I'd love to hear your opinion. If you guys are still here, I appreciate you spending your time with me. I hope you have an amazing day and I'll see you next time.